640 on this Tuesday morning election day. I can't stop looking at the sky cam because the sunrise right. is so nice. All the sky cams yeah. this morning. We've, we've seen the uh, fairgrounds. We've seen here in downtown. Dublin had a pretty nice sunrise. I feel like we're losing a little orange in the sky right now because the sun is just now coming up over the horizon, but it's setting the stage for a great election day here across central Georgia. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s right now here in Macon. We are at 58 headed to 85 later on today. So just flip those numbers around and you can stay dry today. No chance of rain at the noon hour or at 6 p.m. tonight. The radar picture all quiet for the time being. The green you see there in Washington County, that is not rainfall. That is uh, part of what happens when the sun begins to come up. 62 in Warner Robins right now, 60 in Cochrane, 61 in Dublin, 58 down in Eastman. They've been as cool as 55 this morning, 58 in Monticello and 59 over in Sandersville. Look at this across the southeast, a quiet morning. Look at the temperature down towards Houston, Texas. How about 80 degrees? I will take our 58 any day of the week in May over 80 degrees at 541 their time here on a Tuesday morning. All right, let's get to future view today. Obviously election day temperatures in the mid 80s as we work our way into the afternoon. This is five o'clock here and then into the evening tonight. We'll fall back down into the 70s and 60s and start off Wednesday morning right around 60 picking up some more cloud cover tonight that will translate into tomorrow afternoon as well as temperatures make their way back into the mid to upper 80s. And then I think it's on Thursday. Notice we start off about 10 degrees warmer than Wednesday. More cloud cover. Southerly breeze. I think we're going to be able to crack 90 degrees in here. What I'm not confident in on Thursday is a rain chance that you see there on feature view. It's got a couple of green dots on it. I did not include a chance of rain on Thursday as things stand now, nor did I on Friday mixing in some more sun across central Georgia. I pick up the 10% chance of rain here on Saturday as we get into Memorial Day weekend. Something similar for Sunday and then for Memorial Day itself. The, the European model has been gung ho on bringing in some sort of system to central Georgia at some point through the holiday weekend, but the timing has fluctuated and the GFS has not picked up on it at all. So as things stand now for Memorial Day, I'm going with about a 10% chance of rain or excuse me, 20% chance of rain there, 10% for Saturday and Sunday. So we'll keep an eye on it, but I would say that forecast is uh, far from written in stone. Here's your voting booth forecast for the day ahead. Temperatures in the 60s here for the next little while. 70s later this morning and then through most of the afternoon in the mid 80s. So if you like the cooler stuff, the polls open in just about 20 minutes. You can go vote now, but if you want it to be warm outside, you can go vote later on today. The polls will close at 7 o'clock tonight. But somewhere in there. We're going to hit a high temperature right around 85, calling it warmer with a few clouds. Winds out of the east northeast at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then for tonight, just a couple of clouds. Temperatures near average 61. That overnight low as the sun dips below the horizon right around 830. 88 for Wednesday, 90 on Thursday and Friday. Again, picking up that 10% chance rain on Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be up to 20% on Memorial Day. As I was explaining, though, that forecast written in pencil. I wouldn't go canceling any plans over that. Still warm as we get to the holiday weekend.